Product terms. This is the website. How you find it? You type in Google Microsoft product terms and you get here. First, it's going to be this page. And then you go here, just click product terms. Two important things about it. Obviously, get familiar, browse it. But I will give you a couple of hints that I give to everybody just to get started with it. Firstly, if you are researching your own licenses, make sure you know what, how you bought it through an enterprise agreement, through CSP or anyhow else, and then switch to that. So I just switched to enterprise agreement. For every type of agreement, terms are different. There may be similarities, but assume, I encourage you to assume that for every agreement, terms are different. Something could be available in an enterprise agreement and not available in Microsoft customer agreement. Some things may be licensed differently. Some rights may differ. So you need to choose the licensing program through which you are researching the licenses. If you learn about Windows licensing, for instance, check it in all the types of agreements. So then you know the whole, the entire picture. And then the other thing, if you want to print it, there's a print button. What it does is just downloads the PDF with all these things, and then you can learn them. Before you use print button, you have to choose the agreement type. If you need previous product terms, and why would you need them? Say you bought licenses in 2015 and you haven't upgraded them. You just bought them at that time. You want to check product terms for those licenses because product terms evolve, they change, and they were different in 2015, I assure you. There's an archive, licensing use rights, product terms, archive product service documents. Okay, let's go to 2014. I mean, any previous year. Uh, you need both product lists and another document, product use rights. If you want to research historic licensing, you need two documents from that period, product use rights and product list. They together were joined into product terms in July 2015. Anything prior, you need both. If you only have one, you don't see the complete picture. There were instances in history when something wasn't stipulated on product use rights, it was only written in product list. How great is that? 